But then I came to a point where I'm just like, fuck it. Do you think dancers are ever going to find a place where it's like a traditional job? Like, oh. like the plan I shared with you earlier with temper tantrum. But do you think, I mean, that's just one potential future. But do you think it would ever happen as a mainstream thing? Oh, man. I'm constantly fighting for that. I'm constantly fighting for that. I'm fighting for it. <laughs> but we all know that when we are giving our artistry, it really isn't consistent. It's... It's consistent for us to keep going, but will people notice it? Will people invest in it? Will people acknowledge it the same rate as your other one or the previous one or the future one? We, we just never know. It's a constant gamble. Hmm. And, and, and so it, it really is. And all we can do, I'm not going to lie. Like, like I, my biggest competition isn't people. My biggest competition is. Mm, <laughs> I hate him. Like the the my biggest competition is one upping my previous piece, and that gets harder and harder every time. But then I came to a point where I'm just like, fuck it. I'm just gonna make me feel good. Mm. I'm gonna just do me, mm. and rather than competing, like it's got to be better than the previous one. I'm like, I'm just gonna so. say what's from the heart. And and Emory even saw that, like, not my recent one. But it, it was something that I did portray in 2019, like somewhere yeah. around October or November. The that, studio one? Yeah. yeah. I, I that util was great. Yeah, I, I utilized rehearsal footage as a concept video because of the memories that was taken away from us that was supposed to be planned before mm. this pandemic. And and it also touched many hearts because studios were closing because people don't think it is essential. People couldn't afford to run their own dance studio business anymore. Yeah, it's not, not just closing because of the lockdown, closing as an out of business. Out of business. And it's... And it sucks. Yeah. And I'm an advocate for that because I'm like, we need to keep these this art striving or all of that. Because not everyone, even though I do find that this online platform is going somewhere, it is helping, but it, it's not for everyone. Yeah. You know, it, it still have it's still giving me an adjustment on how to teach online, of course. So but yeah, like it's it's so crazy that. I, I really think that for those who are future dancers who are trying to get into the field, I say consistency is key. And this is the time to start building your reels, start, start doing headshots, start building your brand in some way, shape or form and not being afraid of what you want to share to the world. You know, I mean, how would they even do that if they're locked down? Well, you do. I'm being completely honest. Like there's got to be some footage back in the day or even before this pandemic where you filmed yourself, right? Mm. Doing dance. Even even you just freestyling in your living room. If you're part of a if you're part of a program, a goal setting program and they ask you to dance, post that. You know, it's don't be afraid of posting who you are because I, for a fact, I'm not, especially with my artistry. With finances, that's a different story, but that's a different subject. You know, I'm, <laughs> I'm growing in that one and, and I'm, I'm thankful for that. But for dance, I've been doing this for years and it's definitely a huge passion of mine to tell dancers to like, you know, just keep going. Even if you feel so insecure, if it doesn't look good, the fact that like, if you tell the audience, like, yo, I'm still growing, I'm still learning. I just wanted to share this to the world. They're going to acknowledge that. And you have supporters regardless. Yeah. I mean, it, I haven't choreographed anything in like outside of locking or breaking in a long time. I shared, you saw that. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a minute. It was like, it was kind of nice and to get some feedback, positive feedback. Yeah. So just, I think vulnerability is something uh, that's scary and powerful at the same time because it has such a, it can have such a negative connotation because vulnerability allow means allowing yourself for in a sense attack, but vulnerability also allows your out leaves you an opening for acceptance and yeah. embrace and, and speaking of vulnerability and this is definitely and i don't think emory knows this but if you think about it you guys when you perform in a group you blend and you're proud of showing how this group how you with this group show yeah but we're in this pandemic where we cannot be with a group at this time. Yeah. And the only person that is accountable and who you can film is just you. Mm -hmm. So they're only 
watching you. Mm-hmm. And I need to grasp that too. I'm not going to lie. Like TikTok videos, I'm just like, what the, what the fuck am I going to do? I, 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 even reels, I'm just like, what the hell am I going to do? And I, I too need to push my boundaries because I'm so used to vibing with a class. Yeah. I'm so used to vibing with people. And, and, and it's true. Filming just yourself is a vulnerable place. And there's also Snapchat spotlight. Oh my God, is there a spotlight? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, just telling you guys, of, like, everyone's on the whole Reels and TikTok thing. There's also Snapchat's the spotlight. So, so, so Snapchat, you on that too? Oh, well, yeah, because apparently Snapchat's giving uh, a fra- a portion of a million dollars for the highest viewed spotlight video. Well, I'm not gonna do that unless we like kill, like, like slap somebody. <laughs> like slap it and then we'll get a million dollars, I guess, because uh, people love that shit. Uh, I mean, I don't know. By the time this comes out, I don't know if it, it, it's still happening, but that's what Snapchat is currently doing now. Oh my God. So. And he's talented. I, I, I have no idea what it is about marketing, and he's living my biggest dream. My, my biggest dream was to eventually pay my dancers, and I have once, <laughs> but he paid temper tantrum. And not with his money. (laughs) It was like, oh my God. It was, it was literally like from the community. It was from donations. It was from Patreon. And I was like, that's inspiring. It was from the Kickstarter. Yeah. It's inspiring. He's living the dream. And I already knew that when you guys are choreographer, when you guys are a choreographer and you want to pay your dancers, you can't do it alone. Yeah. You You just can't. You need people like Emerald. You need a board. You need, like, it's good that you are that creative. But you need those people who are not on the creative and more logistic side to keep you on track because you're only focusing on the creative. And that's something that I wish I did with Lavad was as creative as we were, as fierce as we were, I wanted to pay my dancers, but there was there was no way of doing that. And I was like, well, how can I do this? But Emory figured it out and he's amazing. I mean, I, I would consider my, I still, I consider myself an artist who figured out the business end. Yeah. Like, because those of you who don't know, I, I graduated in, in with a degree in animation. <laughs> so that's and then, so amazing. And then I, I worked in the game, video game and movie industry for a bit. Then I started my own. Then I became a uh, personal trainer, just to keep, uh, to keep it simple. Then I started Then I started my own marketing. I started marketing as freelance. And mar- then I started my marketing agency. And now I started another dance company with Temper Tantrum. And then, you know, but either either way, it was like, I knew the stuff that I had to do in regards to the success I was envisioning. There was a lot of parts that I didn't understand that I had to, but like how John is obsessing with the the mini parts with your business. I had to do that as well. Mm -hmm. I had to understand the importance of attention, email marketing, digital marketing, SEO, and all that stuff. So that's where I led me to where I am now. So 